Okay, uh, I'm here with Dan, and we're talking about his international business lifestyle. Uh, he lives in Bali, Indonesia, and he runs an international business. Uh, Dan, could you talk a little bit about what you do and, and what countries you deal with? Sure. I mean, uh, the, the primary uh, places of importance for our business would be southern China for manufacturing, southeast Asia for marketing, and southern California for distribution and sales. Um, I think we're sort of in a new age of business, and what I've been calling it is this term called micro-multinational. We've all heard the term multinational. That's like a big corporation, like an oil company or a, a car company. But it's only recently that small companies like mine could have offices all around the world, employees all around the world, at a relatively small level. And that's what we're trying to do. Whenever we hire a new employee, we always ask ourselves the question, what would be the best place in the world to hire these people? And if that has to do with manufacturing, for us, that's southern China. If it has to do with marketing, we found that Southeast Asia is great for hiring people that are great at marketing. And so it's a, sort of a new age of business for small, on, small business entrepreneurs like myself. And it's really exciting for me because I love to travel. And so I get to see some amazing places. So could, could you talk about like how large is your operation? Like when you talk about like a micro business, how many people are we talking about in each country? Well, it's an interesting way that, you know, what is a small business versus what is a medium business? Um, I guess the way I make the distinction is a small business is under 500 employees. And then uh, a medium-sized enterprise would be, you know, $50 million annually and above. So, but when we're talking about micro multinationals and my audience and the people that I interact with, we're talking about small business people with less than 50 employees and less than $15 million in revenue. Wow, that sounds really interesting. So how, how do you find these people? Like, how do you create these relationships? I mean, if somebody wanted to start out and do what you do, I think the first thing that they would think of is, well, how, how do you meet people from all these different countries and, and put them together to make a business? Well, there's two different sorts of relationships that are important. One is your sort of staffing and supplier relationships. I think that would be more traditional methods, job boards, you know, going on to sourcing websites and finding manufacturers and things. But then there's a whole other thing, which is how do you meet like minds? How do you meet your peers, other entrepreneurs? And I think the big opportunity there is self-publishing online, either through blogs or podcasts or Facebook or Twitter, really reaching out to like minds and trying to help them. Just and that's one of the things that I really love about the internet is that it rewards um, altruism, right? So if I reach out and help my fellow man, you get rewarded on the internet for that. And so if you know about something, um, go around and see if you can help people with your skill set, with your talent, with your knowledge. And that's, how I think, how you start to build a network because you value that knowledge and the people that you're helping will value that knowledge. And that's a great way to start a relationship. You know, you do this in Southeast Asia. Uh, do you think that your model of doing business can be replicated anywhere in the world? Like, could somebody do this in Latin America or in Africa or, you know, in other parts of, of the world besides here? Absolutely. I mean, I think, you know, I'm just a small player. And when you look at all around the world, this is exploding everywhere. People utilizing the Internet to connect with people that can help them directly you know, if you want to know about something, you can go to the Internet, you can search, and you can find the information immediately. To me, it's an absolute revolution. And for relationships, it's even greater because you can find the people that can help you directly. So if you need somebody, a customer, a business partner, uh, you know, even if you need a new girlfriend, you can go to the Internet and you can search for what you're looking for and start to connect with people. I think it's magic, and it's applicable in any continent. <laughs> Great. Good advice.